I said, it's hilarious that we are sitting in this room today and I've got two doctors and a missus and nobody can give us real numbers that we can respond to so we can assess how big of a threat this is. Because you know that it is not as big of a threat as you are trying to make it out to be so that you can manipulate. And the audacity of you to bring up the Christ Church shooting manifesto and make it seem as if I laughed at people that were slaughtered by a homicidal maniac, maniac is, in my opinion, absolutely despicable. And I think that we should- What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, we're going to be reacting to Democrats, Professor Snaps, Ads, Candace Owens, regrets immediately. So let's give it a try. Let's watch together and see how it's going. Chairman, I, uh, I just wanted to thank our witnesses for being here today, um, especially Ms. Owens for, for coming. Uh, I apologize. I couldn't be here for some of the earlier parts of the hearing. I had an amendment on the, on the floor that we were uh, managing. But um, I did walk in a few minutes ago, and Mr. Meadows and I were visiting in the, in the back room and noticed that, Ms. Owens, you hadn't spoke for a while. So if there's something you'd like to add to the discussion uh, over the last few minutes, I'd be happy to uh, yield uh, uh, my, my four minutes to you and let you, uh, let you comment. But thank you again for your outstanding testimony for being here as our witness today. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I was just commenting backstage, I mean, back behind the chambers, that it is quite ironic that I'm the only black American that's sitting here, and yet uh, the people that called this hearing haven't asked me a single question about my experience. I think that probably points to what I say the larger issue is, is that Democrats come up with the problems, they come up with the solutions, and black Americans are basically used as props um, for them to get out their narrative and to ultimately control our vote uh, using fear tactics. I also found it quite hilarious that when asked for actual numbers, nobody here could actually provide them because it's not actually a problem in America or a major problem or a threat that's facing black America. Um, this is, again, just election rhetoric. This is, again, just an attempt to assault an administration that is doing all that they can um, to help black America in every single regard, whether it's criminal justice reform, whether it's talking about real issues like school choice, which should be implemented um, to conquer some of these illiteracy rates that is actually harming the black community. Um, and I think it's unfortunate um, that we have this many hearings um, on something that is so small in America and we aren't having real hearings. I actually don't think the Democrats have completed a single day of real work since Donald J. Trump went into office. This has just been about attacking his administration day in and day out with things that do not matter. I am hopeful that we will come to a point where we actually have hearings about things that matter in America, uh, uh, things that are a threat to America, like illegal immigration, which is a threat to black America, like socialism, which is a threat to every single American. Um, and I hope that we, we see that day. It's definitely not going to be today. Uh, fortunately, we have Republicans that are fighting um, every, say, every single day, day in and day out. And um, I will wrap this up by saying what I said at the beginning of my testimony, which is that uh, for all of the Democrat colleagues that are hoping that this is going to work and that we're going to have a fearful black America at the polls, um, if you're paying attention to the stuff that I'm paying attention to, the conversation is cracking. People are getting tired of this rhetoric. We're being tired to talk that we are being told by you guys to hate people based on the color of their skin or to be fearful. We want results, we want policies, we are tired of rhetoric. And the numbers show that white supremacy and white nationalism is not a problem that is harming black America. Let's start talking about putting fathers back in the home. Let's start talking about God and religion and shrinking government because government has destroyed black American homes and every single one of you know that and I think Many people should feel ashamed for what we have done and what Congress has turned into. It's days of our lives in here, and it's embarrassing. Hmm. I thank the lady for her, uh, for her comments. She knows the truth. Everyone right there knows the truth, but they don't want to admit it. The liberals are kind of like pissed. They are hurt by the truth because they don't want to admit it. And I love, I love Candace Owens. I, like, I love her goats. For me, her goats really stand out right there. Dr. Blue, what, what is your response to the idea that it's something that doesn't really matter? Well, we have a history of treating it like it doesn't matter. And the result of that has been death and destruction and the disruption of all kinds of people's lives. Um, I suppose I would point to kind of two historical examples to understand this a little bit better. Um, one is this idea that it's hilarious. My co-panelist says that there are no numbers that... Their numbers show, she says, that this is not a problem. Um, and she points out that none of us give the numbers. I, I'd like to talk for a minute about why we don't have the numbers, if I may. Um, 
From the outset, surveillance in the United States has been a profoundly political project. So we can go all the way back to the 1960s and think about how um, things like the FBI counterintelligence program were unequally targeted. Um, COINTELPRO, people in this room might know, was a project okay. that sought to disrupt fringe activism on both the left and on the right. But we know from the history that it was profoundly more focused on the left and on activists of color than on the right. So Klan groups were infiltrated, but there were no deaths of Klan activists in this period at the hands of FBI informants, nor was there a cohesive effort to disrupt those groups the way that there was on the left. Similarly, our resources have been overwhelmingly dedicated to confronting um, Islamic or international terror rather than white or domestic terror. Um, the reason we don't have these numbers is because there hasn't been an, aggregated, uh, an aggregating data project within the federal government. The watchdogs that have been in charge of aggregating this data have had their own motivations and their own reasons for using different kinds of data collection practices. Um, I just have to say that I object strenuously to your use of the word, word hilarious. Um, to me, this feels a lot like your reaction to being named in one of these manifestos. Now, you're, of course, not responsible for the words of somebody writing that document. But I do think that laughing at it is a real problem because these are real families that are impacted by this violence. And I think our efforts towards talking about this have to start from a place of mutual respect, which is what I've heard from, from this side of the table. Now, the reason we don't have those numbers, I want those numbers as much as you do, but the number to say the numbers don't show something is simply not supported by the data. Okay, and I have 38 seconds left, Ms. Mulligan, if you, can, if you want to respond within that time. The only thing I would add is that um, it's in the name. Terrorism, domestic terrorism, it terrorizes us. It terrorizes us in our homes. It terrorizes us in our schools. Um, and, the, and to the points made by the other panelists, it is disproportionate um, to its impact on any individual life, and it's not. You reject the idea it's something that doesn't matter or it doesn't really matter. Absolutely reject. Okay. All right, so here's where we are. Every, every member now has had five minutes and... Okay, and Mr. Clay, so we have two members who have not, so I'm gonna go to the two members who have not yet, and then... And, and, I, and we'll give an opportunity for a closing thought to any member who wants before we go. Am I next to, to respond, or is Mr. Meadows? I thought Mr. Meadows was Mr. next. Mr. Meadows, okay. Mr. Meadows is next, then Mr. Clay, then to you, Mr. Jordan. Uh, Ms. Owens, obviously this is a gang up on you. You know, we, we're, we're giving uh, these witnesses the ability to do a rebuttal on you. And so, um, you know, I, I find it unfair, Ms. Ballou. Hmm. I mean, you know, candidly, for you to show mutual respect and then you to go after Ms. Owens, it's not appropriate. So, Ms. Owens, you can have four minutes and 34 seconds to respond, however you yield for a second? I'll, I'll yield to the... Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe, Ms. Owens, when you used the word hilarious, it was, in, it was referencing the fact that no one had asked you a question. It wasn't to the subject matter of the hearing. Is that right? That is correct. And for ha to have another witness insinuate something that is not accurate is just not appropriate, Mr. Chairman, for how witnesses are supposed to behave in front of this committee. I also think you didn't say it doesn't matter about the subject matter of today's hearing. You said there are other subjects that matter as well, and maybe we should spend some time on those. Is that accurate? That is correct, and they matter much, 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 much more. And I have said that. I said that in my opening, and I will say it again, you know that white supremacy and white nationalism is nowhere near, ranks nowhere near the top of the issues that are facing black America. And the reason that you are bringing them up in this room is because it is attempt to make the election all about race as the Democrats. Not in my case, Ms. Owens, I'm sorry. Don't, please my, do not characterize Ms. my motive. Mr. Chairman, it's my time. Yeah, you, it's my got, time. You've got your time, Mr. Meadows. Every, three more seconds. May, Every four years, you bring up race, and you knew exactly what I meant when I said hilarious, and you just tried to do live what the media does all hmm. the time to Republicans, to our president, and to conservatives, which you tried to manipulate what I said to fit your narrative, okay? I was not referring to the subject matter that is hilarious. I said it's hilarious that we are sitting in this room today, and I've got two doctors and a missus, and nobody can give us real numbers that we can respond to so we can assess how big of a threat this is. Because you know that it is not as big of a threat as you are trying to make it out to be so that you can manipulate. And the audacity Thank you. of you to bring up the Christchurch shooting manifesto and make it seem as if I laughed at people that were slaughtered by a homicidal maniac, maniac is, in my opinion, absolutely despicable. And I think that we should be above that. 
to try to assign reality or any meaning to a homicidal maniac writing a manifesto, which, by the way, let the record show, also stated Spyro the Dragon, the child's cartoon, as a source of inspiration. He also cited Nelson Mandela as a source of information. I don't think, I don't think that Nelson Mandela has inspired mosque shootings. You can correct me if you think I'm wrong. You, are, you would rather assign meaning to a homicidal maniac than to mm. actually address that I said to, the things that I said today that are actually harming black America. Number one, father absence. Number two, the education system and the illiteracy rate. Illegal immigration ranks high, abortion ranks high, white supremacy and white nationalism, if I had to make a list again of 100 things, would not be on it. This hearing, in my opinion, is a farce. And it is ironic that you're sitting here and you're having three Caucasian people testify and tell you what hey. their expertise are. Do I know what my expertise are? Black in America. I've been black in America my whole life, all 30 years. And I can tell you that you guys have done the exact same thing every four years ahead of an election cycle, and it needs to stop. Thank you. Thank you. I love our guts. I love that. Every four years, they keep on bringing this matter of race. Every four years. And they know the truth. They keep hiding it. They know the truth. They keep hiding it. Jim Jordan's face says it's all. That is exactly the truth. Like, they know the truth. They keep hiding this every four years. They want it to be about race. They want commotion. They want trouble. They want chaos. Every four years, every four years, Candace always just peel out the bills. She just said the truth. And I know it pissed a lot of liberals up. I know it pissed a lot of people. But that is the plain truth. And that is the truth that is being hidden. This year for Donald Trump again is the same thing that's still going on this 2024, this election. It's the same thing that's going on. This black race, this racism aspect of it, it is increasing. It is increasing. And they keep repeating the same narrative over and over and over again every four years. If Check it. Keep it notes. Like, keep it notes. Every four years, you see this coming up every time. Now the abortion is already going up. Now the black race is already going up. Every four years, they keep bringing out this matter over and over again to hide up what we should really talk about. I love that. I love that goat. That was really impressive. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can subscribe to our channel. I'll we'll see you guys in the next video. See your feedback during this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all